then, this world has gone through three major eras. The prehistoric era, Elk's era, and the present day, which we're in now. Everything began in the prehistoric era. I have termed the humans from this era, Technolomies. Right, so are they saying that this is thousands of years on from... Oh, t oh god damn it. Because <laughs> there's blimps and there's what appears to be some kind of Eiffel Tower ripoff. These ultra-modern people reached the pinnacle of scientific progress. And then killed ourselves. They advanced rapidly into a highly productive, glorious civilization. Eventually, the Technolomies made an astonishing discovery. Uh oh A system that can convert emotional energy into physical. That became essentially the basis for what we call magic today. It is around this time that songs were used to draw out emotion. The Technolomies began to use magic to kill each other for selfish gain. Wait, so is he explaining this to her as well? How long has she been around? What? Oh. After years of singing to kill and killing to sing. Their hearts grew weary of the endless war they had begotten. I'm tired. I want to die. I want to kill. I want help. I just want to end it all. Those are the emotions that began to flow. Emotions? Their unconscious wish for suicide manifested into an immense energy. This energy, emotional energy, turned to magic and led to the creation of the giant qualia we call the moon and mother to rule it. Okay, so it's basically the plot of Persona 3. Everyone wanted to die, so they, you know, it effectively gives big evil doomsday eye thing a wet energy to kill us with, right? Now, let us continue forth. We mustn't keep Mother Qualia waiting. This Mother Qualia has but one objective, and that is... to destroy humanity. Destroy... humanity? Reason being, she was born out of humankind's suicidal desires. It's like how scissors were invented to cut. She was made to destroy. Right! That's all there is to it. That's so... Sad. <laughs> Sad? Oh, I haven't heard that one before. Well, that's how it happened. She ended humanity just as they wished. Hmm. Oh, that's good, you know, at least you get what, so, you know, exactly what it says on the tin, I suppose. I don't need to explain how she did it, do I? You did just see them. The angels. What I'm about to say is very important, so listen up. It's about the curse cast upon this world by the moon. After eliminating the Technolomies, Mother Qualia entered a deep sleep. But before she did, she placed a curse upon our world. Mother Qualia decided to monitor the survivor's emotional energy. If their levels exceeded a certain point, she would awaken and besiege humanity once again. That is the Eclipse. W wait a minute. I'm having a hard time following. It, I don't know, it seems pretty simple. It's just stupid. But alright. It's basically spring cleaning on a global scale. Alright, if that helps you. If trash starts piling up, you toss it. Gotta keep it from overflowing. What a cruel way to put it. Hmm. <laughs> Well, he may be an idiot, but he's actually right. Yeah, it keeps happening with Keith, it's weird. What's being monitored is the total amount of emotional energy. Even a handful of highly emotional people could set off the purge. No, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I get where it's going, and I understand that, but really? 
Really? Because that means that what Hilda did makes even less sense. Because I'm assuming if she wanted to crystal, if she was crystallizing people so that they wouldn't be emotional because they're in crystal. Well, even then, if considering she was doing it to cities, that's going to cause some emotion before they get rock cancer. But doing that created more emotions and instability, well, instability around the entire kingdom, probably making more and more people emotional. Oh, this is just fucking stupid. Why? No, come on. I want to hear her say what the reason she was rock cancering people is, because it's fucking dumb. How are we supposed to stop that? Yeah, exactly. We couldn't prevent it, but we did delay it by trapping that energy. Then, that must mean... The Song of Ruin was the means by which that was accomplished. And you didn't bother to tell anyone, neither the fucking Veronica, who helped us. This is what's really stupid about it. She fucking knew! What? People lose their emotions while crystallized and are not monitored. That is how we've been able to avoid the eclipse to this point. Yes, but you've also been going around killing people! And being generally evil! Of course people were going to try and stop you! So you're saying the Song of Ruin was meant to save the world? Oh, fuck off. That is what I have said from the beginning. No, you have fucking not. Well, no, actually, no the more I think about it, no, she actually has. She just never qualified the statement. Again, crystallizing people, she never bothered to explain why she did it, so... It looked like you're trying to destroy the world, especially as it's the Song of Ruin, you fucking halfwit. Wait! There aren't many ways you can interpret that. But now you've provided some context after the fact, you know, after the important bit. God damn it, man. Why can't we just make it so that Mother Whatever can't monitor us? My thoughts exactly. That is why I wanted to eliminate all of the witches. What? Witches are the system by which Mother Qualia monitors humanity. N no. Mother Qualia selected five girls to watch while she slumbered. While giving each a portion of herself, she birthed what we call witches. And so, the mother uses the witches to track mankind's emotional energy. To be perfectly frank, witches are basically the mother's servants. It takes data automatically though, so I bet none of you even notice. That's... So that's why Hilda tried to kill us. It doesn't make it any better. No, it really does. It's still... no. If the witches were all dead, the moon wouldn't have woken up? Mm, no, it's still not better. Again, you could have said something before... I mean, why, fuck it. Actually, no, no, they were all awakened. No, okay, fair enough. Sort of? I mean, Lizette wasn't. You could have done something there. That only happened because you tried to kill them and brought cancer the village, and, you know. It's because we were all alive. Oh, God. That's where the story ends for now. Well, I'm sorry. That, come on, someone's got to ask the obvious fucking question. Alright. Please, it, it would glean some brownie points back if someone goes, WHERE WAS THIS INFORMATION FUCKING WEEKS AGO? Ooh, I was blabbing on and on and on. <laughs> it feels like I talked forever. Wait. Where? Both of you knew about this? YES! But Thank you, you Woody. didn't tell anyone? Thank you. Well done. The question has been asked. Now, what's the reason? That's right. Why did you keep it quiet? I attempted to share the truth time and time again. Fuck off! Nobody believed me. Did you listen to what I, the Witch of Destruction, had to say? He didn't kill you. Not even the citizens of my own country would heed my warning. Well, that's because you were a dictator, apparently. Again, you just... <sighs> 
The Harbingers were the only ones who heard what I was saying. Well, then what about you, Dr. Veronica? Yeah! If you told the Queen about this, we could have stopped the Anthem program! Stop the Anthem program? There was, like, no need for that. There was a bit. What? Whatever happens to this world or this little civilization of yours? It has nothing to do with me. That is, it's your guy's problem. What? So you basically didn't say anything. And millions of people have died. Much confusion because you couldn't be asked. It fits your character, but it's still fucking stupid. What the hell? That crappy I don't care attitude makes me sick. Well, she's also probably hundreds of years old. Mm. Oh, feeling sick, hmm? If you're gonna puke, do it outside! I don't give a damn what you think of me. Eh, fair enough. None of you have any idea what I've been through to survive this long. <laughs> hmm. Even if you stop the eclipse, the emotion level will rise again. And were you to destroy the witches? Replacements would surely appear. Just like Hilda's crystallization, you will only delay the inevitable. As long as the Mother exists, angels will come. I guarantee it. The chance of human victory is... zero. But... those who are still alive... we can save them! Do you seriously believe that? What a joke! But you live on this planet, too. Surely you... Stubborn, fragile, imperfect. Humans are fascinating subjects. But I tire of involving myself with you all. I'll sit this one out. Well, how long do you plan on wasting our time here? I need to go collect more wings before my life runs out. You got what you came for. Please hurry up and leave. You don't have to tell me twice. Come on, there's no point in dealing with this hag anymore. Yeah. God oh, damn it, Keith. Stop being right. Dr. Veronica, you aren't going to join us? Quit wasting your time, Alto. This bitch is the same as that shit commander. Completely out of it. But... I have one more thing to tell you. After 29 days, the eclipse will end. Waiting is an option. Is that true? I have no reason to lie. But now, we're done for real. You have five seconds to leave before I sick my angels on you. Let's go, Alto. Yeah. What a cunt. Well, there you go. That's the, uh... Hilda, uh, alright, fine, she's got her thing, she didn't want to say anything. Hilda, you're wrong, though. You never tried once to explain it to the people who needed to hear it most. You stupid asshole. <laughs> It's all jumbled from hearing so much at once. Oh, I'm lost too. It was lengthy, but the idea was clear, no? There's no way we can win. Regnant will be destroyed. It's that simple. You're forgetting one vital piece of information. Oh. There's a chance, albeit small. People could outlast the eclipse. Ewan, don't tell me you're banking on that. I believe it's the most rational option we have. We know the situation, so we can help restore the country as long as we survive. You're saying we should just abandon Lambert so only we can survive? And what would you have us do instead? Die here in vain? I can't wager on something that has zero chance of victory. I have to agree. Those with the will and wits to survive will live on. That is simply the natural order of things. You too? However, I am under the Royal Knight's employ. As such, I must obey any orders given to me. So, who's gonna give the orders? I don't know. We don't have a commander. Come on, Alto, this is your moment. Step it up. As a royal regnant knight, 
I swore my loyalty to Queen Anastasia. I cannot survive in a world without a country. Archie, you're giving up too? My apologies, Rusty. If Lambert is gone, oh, God. I too must go. Even Archie's suicidal. This is terrible. <laughs> that is my destiny as head of the Archibald family. <clears throat> What's with this pitiful crap? There's a pretty big pity party over here, too. Don't you think, Alto? You're right. Come on, Alto, just say something already. You're a conductor, aren't you? Just like the hero. You have any ideas? I'm sorry. I... I don't know what to do. Get a hold of yourself. We believed in you. All of us. We thought you would lead us. Maybe you chose the wrong person to believe in. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alto. We can't beat the angels as we are now. Then what? You're just gonna give up because he can't win? You're gonna let all the people of Lambert die? Huh? No! But I don't know. I'm not sure how we can win this one. You bastard. Why are you just giving up like this? Stop it. There's no point in fighting here. Huh. <laughs> So, Rusty, how about you? What are you going to do? I'm gonna fight. Hilda and Veronica are enemies and traitors, aren't they? We have no reason to believe what they're telling us. Uh, well, I don't know. But there's no reason for them to lie. Exactly. I know! But if we're gonna stick to their story, all we can do is run, right? Well... No, I mean, you could go up to the moon and kick the crap out of the, the mother qualia and all shit. Is that what you want? Of course not. I can't stay quiet. Not after that mama's boy used us for his plans. Then fighting is the only option we have. I get it. You want to fight. But how do you plan on winning? How should I know? I'm just gonna slaughter every angel I see. I'd rather fight and die trying than run away like a coward. Hmm. Dying's not in my contract. I'd prefer not to commit suicide. Fuck off, Keith. I'll have to decline as well. I'm okay with death, but not if it's going to be in vain. You bastards. You said it, Pofo. Well, this is it for me. Rusty. The ninth was just a ragtag team to begin with. The Anthem program is over. I'm not gonna be your little knight anymore. But wait! Yes. Rusty is correct. We have nobody to lead us. The ninth regiment ends here. <laughs> no! Everyone! Stop! If anyone's got the will to fight, come with me. I'm coming. I'll never give up. I, I'll come too. I'm gonna stay by my lady's side until my dying breath. Wait! Rusty! Sophia! Nolika! See ya. Oh shit, this is horrible. Huh. Looks like it's time for me to go as well. Come along, merchant. Really? Teaming up with you worries me to no end, Keith. Yeah, you see, this is the thing. <laughs> but I guess I'd rather go with you than Rusty and those other guys. Ewan! You're at the Keith. bottom of the barrel there, you Ewan. Too? Thanks for everything, Alto. Ugh. 
This is where I too must part. No, don't do it, man! In a world without her majesty, I am lost. I'm tired of this too. Well, that's going well. Oh, no. I'll see you oh no, don't do that, you bitch! Everyone's gone. <laughs> what? Aren't you going to? I can't. I know. I know how painful it is to be left alone. Hilda. Go home for today, Alto. Well, that was shit. <laughs> Center of the moon. And this is Mother Qualia. Now, I shall finally fulfill my desires of the past thousand years. Giselle, ensure there is no interference. Understood, Master. Great mother, thy son, Zeno, has returned! <laughs> I shall grant you power. This... this power is... Great. Oh, shit, there's that here. Oh shit! Oh, there's a girl, there's a ray of sunshine! Unless she dies, she fucking dies! God damn it! baby while I was sleeping. I'm so happy. Alto, come over here. Okay. You've grown up so much. Miss Rosa, I've done something terrible. I see. 
I was betrayed by someone I thought I could trust. Ah. Uh. And I was tricked into committing a crime. Mm. Mm. <laughs> She's just nodding, doesn't, doesn't really care. I just don't know what to do anymore. So is Miss Rosa going to offer the Independence Day speech? Because this is it, this has got to be the moment, surely. I heard it all from Regent Elmar. About the incident. And your powers. People all around the world are suffering. But you have the ability to help them. An ability nobody else has. Only you can use it. Now, what does your heart tell you to do? My heart? Don't think about it too hard. Tell me, Lizette, what kind of boy was Alto again? When it came to helping others, he wouldn't even think before he acted. That's both a good and bad thing about you, Alto. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. That's who I am. Something I can do. Something that only I can do. That's it. It's not a matter of what I should do. There's only one thing I can do. There you go. Looks like the bounce has uh, come back to his bungee a bit. Well, that was fun. I didn't think I'd find you here. Alto. Hilda, I've come to a decision. I'm going to fight. Why? People are suffering because of the angels. I can't just stand by and let that happen. You're such a child. Yeah, I guess I am a bit selfish like that. Just like Rusty. I can't give up hope of winning. And just like Keith, I can't stop fighting. Don't fucking bring Keith in on this, all right? It was going quite well. That's why I'm going to fight. That's why I'm going to win. You really expect to be victorious? I'm a conductor. If this is truly the same tragedy that happened in the past, I will challenge the heavens. Just as the hero Elk did before. You mean? With the witches by my side, I will destroy Mother Qualia. Oh, shit. It's on. So... I'll need your help. Hilda, lend me your power. Uh, I suppose you'll do. Barely, though. This is the first time I've seen you smile. Oh, yeah, it probably is, isn't it? I, I'm not smiling. S sir! Angels have been spotted in the distance! They're coming to Lambert! What? Let's go fuck them up! Oh, bows. This is my power. The divine strength provided by Mother. Oh, big sweaty bows. Master, as ordered, the angels are heading out of the towns and to the capital. Excellent. We can deal with the provinces later. In order to ensure the completion of the eclipse, the ninth must fall. Decimate the royal capital of Lambert. Leave not a single soul alive. As you wish. Oh, so that was all just for show then. Alright. Goody gumdrops. The corporal is gone. What do we do now? I, I I guess evacuate the citizens, but the confusion might cause a riot. <laughs> anyone? Is anyone here? What's the situation here? Your reports state that a large flock of angels is heading towards Lambert. I don't think the guards alone will be able to stop them. I'll take care of the angels. As for you guys, please make sure the citizens are safe. Uh, understood. We need to prepare for battle. 
Where is everyone? Nobody is here. Oh. Archibald. Lady Lizette is aiding townsfolk. While Rusty is out hunting angels. Ewan and Keith are procuring supplies for their escape. Damn it. At least you can come with me, Archibald. Yeah, come on, man. Step it up. A giant swarm of angels is about to attack the city. Oh, God. He looks so depressed. Oh. What are you doing? Let's go. Her Majesty is gone. The country is collapsed. What are you saying? You're a knight, aren't you? The Archibald family has served the Regnant royalty for generations. But now that royalty is gone. I am a knight no longer. Fine then. I'm going. Even if it has to be by myself. I'll stop them. No matter what. Not a single one will enter the city. Archibald. There are still things we can protect. Open your eyes. And see them. Goodbye. Oh god, this is terrible. So who we got? Oh no, we can actually still see everyone. Oh, that's interesting. Come on, Archie, you're better than that. Um, ah, sod it, you know what, come on then. Let's do it. Let's get to the end of this chapter, and then I'll pack it in because I need to do shopping and other things. Angels at two o'clock! There, there's so many! I, I can't even count them all! At this rate! Alright. Everyone, escort the citizens to a safe location. I'll put a stop to this. By yourself? You... you're insane! I'll be okay. Others will come. Really? You're just gonna hedge your bets on that one? Well, actually, Rusty might show up to kill a few of them. Understood. We'll ensure the citizens' safety with our lives. Take care of yourself. Angel army inbound! They're almost here! <clears throat> oh, what the fuck is that? There are so many, but... I won't give up! Your disregard for your own safety amazes me. Yeah! Hilda! You know what time it is! That reckless abandon reminds me of someone else I used to know. You mean... Let's go, Alta. Yeah! Yeah, that's right. We now get to control Hilda. Now, I'm not going to lie, I did see a picture that tipped me off to that. And another potential character we get later on. Oh no, we don't get to control Hilda. That's interesting. I thought we did. Oh shit. She does join our team though. I'm giving that away now. Like, it's fairly obvious by this point. But yeah, there is one more character we do get. Well, that is few, but yeah, whatever. So I kind of know what the, you know, the rest of the team looks like, which, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to spoil it, I just kind of knew it. My time has come. Fucking hell, jump 25, Jesus. Alright, let's go. 